Strike three, check right, break right. Strike three, break right. Sam, Sam, break two. Strike three, break right, Sam line. Break right. How do you respond when those missiles come? How were they able to back each other up? And this is how we were able to do it. This fighter pilot's doing what we call check six. Has anybody ever heard of that expression, check six, by raise of hands? What's it mean, sir? Check behind you. Why do you need to check behind you? See what's back there. Normally, what's back there, sir? The bad guys, right? The threat, the enemy, the competitor, the missile. You see, when you're strapped into an F-16, into an aircraft, you can barely move, maybe three or four inches either side. You can see out front really easy. You could be proactive, but guess what? The missiles are coming where you can't see them. You can't see if you're on fire or leaking fuel, but if you got a wingman to your right three o'clock or left nine o'clock, it's a lot easier for him or her to check your six and see what you can't see. This is the concept of mutual support, and we discipline each other if we don't provide that support. It's called perspective, right? It's called calling out each other's blind spots. Raise your hand if you got some blind spots in your life. We all have them, right? And if you don't have them, just ask your spouse, they'll let you know, right? <laughs> when we're strapped in, folks, we're dealing with our sales calls, our mission, the challenges that we have as Top Gun performers, there's a lot of things we don't see, yes? And a lot of times, we need to have the courage to be approachable and listen to the break right calls. If it's our supervisor, it's our regional sales manager, whatever, and maybe it's that new hire that's in this company who may be calling out the missile. You see, when that guy said break right, did his wingman call out on the radio and say, you sure he didn't mean break left? <laughs> or you break right, I'm your boss. Or let's have a conference call and discuss this. <laughs> right? You got to take action and you got to trust each other. This is what it's about, folks. Trust, implicit trust. And to listen to that feedback that you might not want to hear but need to hear, right, Dave? This is the key. And to be approachable enough and say, thank you for the feedback. Thank you for calling out that missile. I better prepare for that call a little better. I need to rehearse this mission and practice and train and sweat. But here's the kicker when it comes to taking the fight to the enemy and reaching greater heights as a leader in sales and in life. It's to have the courage to approach your wingmen and indeed tell them to break right. To tell them what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. To have the courage to risk the relationship to do what's right.